Three of the nine young men charged in the death of a college student were in court today. Police say the young man died during an unofficial frat party after inhaling laughing gas. Now the boy's devastated mother and father are speaking with Inside Edition with a warning for all parents. Here's Stephen Fabian. The grieving parents of a college freshman who lost his life in a fraternity hazing are speaking out today. It has been hell when we received that knock on the door from the police officer at 5.30 in the morning. That will forever be the moment that divided everything in all of our lives into the before and the after. Cops say their son, 18-year-old Colin Wyant, was found dead after being subjected to shocking hazing abuse, including being beaten with a belt, forced to drink a half gallon of vodka in 60 minutes, and forced to inhale nitrous oxide, or laughing gas. Is he responsive? He was, and then he's like laid back, started passing out. Nine young men from Ohio University are charged in Wyant's death, and three of them were arraigned today. They pled not guilty. <laughs> the Wyant family released this home video of their son celebrating Christmas in 2015, overcome with emotion as he learns he's getting tickets to a big NBA game. Sweet. Hundreds of mourners flanked the driveway leading to the church where Wyant's funeral took place in 2018. The direct cause of death was attributed by the coroner to asphyxiation due to ingesting nitrous oxide. I think we were scratching our heads. Um, how does that happen? When misused, nitrous oxide can cause fits of laughter and a brief high, as seen in this YouTube video. <sighs> but it can also cut off oxygen to the brain and heart. They're sold in canisters and are easy to obtain legally, as Inside Edition producer Jordan Kassane found out today at a smoke shop in New York where they're called Whippets. The challenge with Whippets is it is legal to purchase and use for the appropriate purpose. The box states it should be used for food and beverage preparation only. In most states, inhaling it for recreational use is illegal, but enforcing that part of the law is a big challenge.